How's it going, David from Comic Book Investments? Well, today we're going to look at GoCollect's top five hottest comic books. And what, that, what does hottest mean? It means books that have really climbed up the ranks in number of units sold, so number of sales there have been on that particular book. And GoCollect usually tracks the top 1,000 places, right? And so these are ones that have massively moved up. All right, so let's look at them. Okay, first up, right here, we got Detective 850, and that has gone up to spot number 22, and it's moved up 977 slots this past week. So that's crazy. So we look at it, you know, here it is. It's not too expensive, right? 9 eighths, fair market value, 60 bucks. This is going to be a little off because it's been climbing up. And why is it getting more expensive? Well, the reason why it's moving up the ranks is this is the first appearance of the Gotham Sirens, which um, is, I think it's like Poison Ivy, Catwoman, and someone else. But anyways, it's just a group of villains. It's not their individual first appearances. It's just the group. And the reason why this is moving up, which I think is very unfounded, is, so here it is. Like, let's look at recent sales. Right, it was down here, all in the eighty dollar range, sixty, seventy, and recently it's moved up. Um, then you know more people have been buying and selling. Doesn't mean just because it's the hottest and units sold doesn't mean it's actually uh, getting more expensive. It just means that people are buying and selling. And the reason why people think that this book is so important is because they think a movie is going to be made on the Gotham Sirens, but there's no, there hasn't been, it was going to be made by David Ayers, the director, but then he put it on pause, and so that's kind of it. Maybe there's some new rumors uh, circulating that it's going to be, oh, it's back on, right? It could be, but I just think there's just so many other properties that are in the works that are further along than Gotham Sirens. And just because, I mean, look at Todd McFarlane and Spawn. He's had a script done for a million years, and it still hasn't gotten made. So just because people have scripts out doesn't mean it's going to be made. Just because they have scripts out and directors attached to it doesn't mean it's going to get made. Even if they have actors attached to it and everything, things never work out, right? So I just think that it's so far down the list that it's going to be a long, long time before it starts going out. And so many people, any sort of rumor, people just jump all over it and say, oh, it's going to be the next big thing. I'm going to buy all these books. And then it drops. Like, this is not the first time this book has been popular. So that's my take on Detective 850. Moving on, what is next? Um, we got Moon Knight number three has moved up 972 slots um and it is moved up to the 28th hottest book and oops and if we look at that at the, um where is it right here if we look at that this is the first appearance of midnight man as you can see uh it's going to be roughly let's see what the actual price is about uh no nine eights have sold recently I would see a 9.6 sold recently for 150. Even though this fair market value says 80, they're selling for probably 150. I wouldn't necessarily listen to Go Collect's fair market value. It's just an algorithm. It has no idea what it's talking about. Uh, but if we go in here, look, look at, look how expensive this is. Oof, look at that, straight up, man, it is on the rise. 9.50 um, for a 9.8. Look at that, one just recently sold 9.50. If you went back a few days ago, 400, 300, 200 for a 9.8. And the why it's climbing up um, is Moon Knight's about to come out. See, this is a show that is coming out. Everything's attached. They've already started filming everything. So this, I'm not exactly sure when this show comes out. But probably the reason why Midnight Man is uh, going sky high is there's probably... A leaked script or an actor has been cast and confirmed or something like that where they're going to play Midnight Man. So now that Midnight Man is probably confirmed to be in the show, 
Might be a small part, might be a big part. Uh, people go crazy and they need that book. So that is why this one is going through the roof. As you can see right here, just straight up. It's pretty much through the roof, almost $1,000 for that. So that is why that one is super hot right now. All right, moving on. Let's see, where is it? I know it's around here. Here it is. Spider-Man number 15 is next on the list, which is crazy that this book has moved up. It was, it's moved up 958 slots. Where was it before? It was at number 1,000th, pretty much, close to it. That's just crazy. Uh, you think this would be higher up. It's a big key. What is, what is special about Spider-Man 15, you ask? Well, it's the first appearance of Craven the Hunter. And we all know that, or for you guys that don't know, that um, Aaron Tyler Johnson has been cast as Craven the Hunter. And Aaron Tyler Johnson is Quicksilver in Avengers 2, not the other Quicksilver from the X-Men fr franchise, who's played by, I forget his name, off the top of my head. I want to say Pete or something, but I could be wrong. <laughs> um, but yes, he is. He died as Quicksilver, so he's still going to be kind of in the MCU because Spider-Man's technically in the MCU. Um, he's going to be playing Craven. I was a little bummed about that because for some reason I just think he's too young, right? I'm thinking craven has got to be older, more grizzled guy. I mean, Aaron Tyler Johnson's younger than me. So... Anyways, already been cast, already been confirmed. Um, I believe it's going to be a solo villain film like uh, Morbius, The Living Vampire with uh, Jared Leto. And I think that's what they're going to do, solo villain films, and then have them come together as a Sinister Sticks. <clears throat> so if we look, you know, all green arrows pointing up, right, for the most part. Uh, let's look at this one. Uh, it's a little drop down, but back up but again during this time you know april may you know those were the times where comics were like at its peak and they've all since slowly dropped a little bit uh here let's see look at this one uh down but still going up so it's i think this book will continue to go up i think this is a good investment even if you look at some of the higher end stuff like this and you see kind of a drop off these sales are so rare to begin with. There's only a few here and there. Um, but I think this is a good book to have. I think this one is worth picking up if you can afford something like this because I think this will go up in value. Um, it's Craven, first of all. Long history. They're making a movie about him. How the movie do? I don't know. The movie probably won't be released for another like three or four years. Um, but I, I still think this is good to get like there's only two nine eights seven nine sixes not that many um but then it gets more down obviously in the sixes and fours and fives and stuff like that um good book all around have i'm surprised that it was so low to begin with right it's moved up 958 slots it seems weird to me all right moving on next we have up is five for uh, fighting five Number 40, all right? And what's special about this? This is the first appearance of Peacemaker. Now, he's not on the cover. He was in the, more of the backstory. Um, but this first appearance of Peacemaker, for all you guys that don't know, Peacemaker is in the Suicide Squad, played by John Cena. Uh, he's really pushing for this character, like hardcore. Um, he really wants to be like the next rock, you know, just a huge star i don't know if he has it i particularly have never really i've seen a few of his movies and didn't really care for it um he actually lives near me not like near near me he lives in san diego uh people see him around all the time i'm sure he has houses everywhere though uh he's super rich but from what i know he seems like a pretty cool guy so uh i hope it you know his career does well um, so yeah, if we look at this, you know, these books are pretty rare. They're not common. Um, but they're, I mean, here's one recent sale in August and 
Yeah, well, my internet cut out. But it's pretty much been going up. I've had a few of these books myself. I think this one is actually my sale. Um, but if you look, it's not that many sales, but it's moved up. So, but yeah, this is on the hot list. Moved up a ton of spots. I'm assuming that just recently there's been a lot of sales of this to have it move up 955 spots. Um, probably also has to do with the way this work is probably like uh, interest and how many people are interested in this book. And maybe that's why it's moved up. But yes, first appearance of Peacemaker. Um, he then also had his own book, Peacemaker. And this was, you know, Charlton Comics. So it wasn't like Marvel, DC, or any of the big, you know, the big ones. I don't know where Peacemaker, I think Peacemaker went over to DC. I think that DC bought Charlton Comics and all the rights to them. So Peacemaker exists on DC now officially. Because there, you can also get characters that fall into um, public domain and then companies that pick them up, right? So when you have a character that has been published in a long time and maybe the, the company that made them fell apart, they go into public domain where anyone can use them. But I believe that DC bought them. Because I know something like Black Terror... He is on Dynamite Comics, but he was also Nador Comics back in the 40s. And I think he fell into public domain, I think. And then Dynamite swooped him up from there. All right, last on the list, which I am surprised, is Green Lantern 76, up to number 47. And it's moved 953 slots. And I'm surprised at this because this book never moves. At all. I was literally just talking to a customer about this book. And he's like, I've had this book for years and it goes up like 1% a year. <laughs> I'm like, I know. But at least it's going up, right? It's better than going down. What's special about this book? This is the first Bronze Age book. I wonder if they say it there. Yep, first Bronze Age book. Um, this is considered the start of Bronze Age. The reason why is because this is when they started dealing with more adult themes. It is not uh, Spider-Man like 90, what, 97, 98, 96. Um this is, this is earlier, and this started dealing with more adult themes. Also, this is when people that grew up reading comics wanted to grow up to be a comic artist or writer and work on comics. So you have Neil Adams, who read, read comics as a kid, and they have Danny O'Neill, who also did the same thing, and they joined forces, and they had a really good run, so it's the start of that run as well. Um, so if we look at it here... Let's see, mostly all greens, so it's all going up. Oh, a couple reds down here. Um, let's see what's going on here. Ah, uh, just slight dip down. Uh, another red here. Let's see what this one's like. This is all over the place. Let's see if we can find one with more sales. Yeah, it's just uh, up and down, up and down. Barely even going up, barely like a huge jump over here. Also, green lanterns are going to be going up a little more recently because... There is a TV show coming out on HBO. I believe it's not with Hal Jordan, though. I think it's Guy Gardner, um, Alan Scott, Kyle Rayner, I think. I don't even, I don't even think John Stewart's in it. Uh, I think it's mostly centered around Guy Gardner, which is weird to me because I think he's the least liked one. He was really popular in the 90s. Um, he had more of that bad boy thing going on that every 90s character had everyone was an anti-hero everything was like you know like Lobo is really popular Venom obviously is really popular you know Wolverine still popular but yeah so that whole anti-hero thing was really popular in the 90s and Guy Gardner was super popular then but he kind of faded away very quickly um, so yeah that's pretty much the top five hottest books this week um, you know, I always love this cover. It's a very cool cover, too. So it's got that going for it. But, yeah, I hope you like this kind of stuff, and have a good day.